It was at one point the epicentre of the COVID-19 crisis, but after months in lockdown, life in Italy is beginning to return to normal. Tough restrictions are starting to be eased, despite the number of new cases rising by more than 1,000 in the past 24 hours. Hermione Kitson is an Aussie living in Italy and she joins us now. Hermione, great to see you again. We first spoke to you when Italy was originally placed into lockdown. So how nice is it to be finally released from your home? Good morning. Well, it really is a huge relief, I have to say. It's hard to believe that two months ago we were put under national lockdown. And when that was announced, I think everyone in Italy was really kind of uh, in a state of shock because, as you said, it was the first country that was placed under lockdown, the first, the, the first country in Europe that was really struck by this pandemic and nobody really knew, knew how to react. And, and then as the weeks progressed, we began to understand that it was a very severe situation. There were many lives lost. Um, and now we can finally see the light. We're, we're starting to come out of it. Uh, phase two started today. So a, a very gradual reopening of the country we'll see in, in the next few weeks and few months. So, Hermione, what are Italian residents now allowed to do? Well, from today, residents are allowed to leave their homes. They're allowed to go out to do exercise. Children are allowed outdoors to play. Parks have re reopened. And also small groups of relatives have also been allowed to reunite from today. But friends are still not allowed to see each other. They're still not, uh, it's not allowed to, you know, allowed to gather in big groups uh, as yet. Also, travel is only allowed within the certain region that you are living in, not um, between different regions across the country. So are there any word of when everything is going to reopen there? Well, it will be it will be a staged reopening. So today, for example, big sectors of the economy like construction and manufacturing reopened, um, but other businesses will have to wait until later in May. For example, most shops will reopen on the 18th of May. And then from the 1st of June, we'll see other businesses that will start to reopen like restaurants, uh, hairdressers and beauticians, those businesses where the, the rate of contagion is a little bit higher. So slowly, slowly, we will see more sectors uh, and more businesses open up. Hermione, the death toll is still rising, though, in Italy. Are you worried about a second wave? Are people there worried about this rumoured second wave, is, which is, could happen? There is concern about that, of course, um, across the world when uh, restrictions will be eased. Uh, this is a concern. Um, the Prime Minister says that, you know, this second stage is a conservative approach, what he's taken. So, you know, this second stage is not about claiming victory over the virus. It's about learning to coexist with the virus, learning to live with it in circulation. How can uh, we, we still kind of go about some kind of new normal, uh, our everyday lives, while, while you know, not... Well, you know, perhaps having the virus, not having the virus, we have to still put in place those measures, the masks, uh, we have to um, adhere to social distancing. So it's still going to be a case of slowly, slowly and hoping to stave off a second wave of infection just by uh, putting those measures still in place. So this really is going to be uh, an easing of restrictions, not necessarily a, a lifting of them throughout the second stage, the second phase of its exit strategy here in Italy. Yeah, well, the world certainly has its eyes on Italy right now. Hermione, stay safe. We'll speak to you again soon.